we've got like um, an obsession with the, the Phil Collins gated gated toms. That's in a, in Rockabye. The, that ridiculous Phil. <coughs> But I can't show the original sample because I'll get in, I'll get sued. <laughs> is, it, is it Phil Collins? <laughs> no, it's much worse. I had this instrumental that was basically just a beat and that that pattern, and then writing the track with Steve Mack and Amar Malley. Steve kind of took that pattern and, and embellished it. And then it kind of... And he had it on like a pizzicato setting on the Mellotron. There was a version of this song, like a kind of slight melancholy in, in, in melodies and, and also maybe lyrical themes, but with like quite an uplifting like r rhythm try. Then we played that to Ina Roldson. She got into a, the emotional headspace of a, of a mum when she was writing the lyrics. She's gone astray so far away from my father's daughter. She just wants her life. So rock a bye, baby, rock a bye. And then I feel like when Sean Paul got involved, he kind of made it a more kind of direct. Call it love and devotion. Call it a mom's adoration. Foundation, a special bond of creation. And then we orchestrated it for string quartet later on. So this is the cello. So first you get these kind of nice dum dum, these plucks. Dum. And then you've got this, we actually muted the viola there. I think it was too much. <laughs> Violin one. Controversial line to be playing. And violin two is just, just like a lower harmony, but it doesn't. It's not quite epic enough for to kind of compete with Sean Paul. So we had to use some nice reverb, which is this Valhalla reverb, which I love. You can choose the kind of the color of it, like seventies, eighties, or now. But we go with the seventies, um, and it sounds like that. And just to give makes it a lot more grand and kind of appropriate for Sean Paul to like shout out all the single mums. I've got this like set up with push, which is how how we play it live. This is really cheating. You just get one note there. And then we can add a chord, chord plugin, which adds like a minor third on top of every note. So then you can add a scale plugin, which is like forces any MIDI to go in to be stuck in A minor. So look. So you're hearing operator there, which is just like an FM synth in Ableton. In Rockabye, it's layered up with like a poly six to do those. That, that main kind of. Which is like a VST version of the Korg poly six made by Korg. It's pretty much like the default sound in the Korg, in, like, if you just open up one of these, it's like very lazy. Same with Operator, it's just like a sine wave. But um, just take the cut off on the filter down a little bit to get that nice kind of soft sound and make sure it's on polyphonic mode. So yeah, so you've got that as the kind of main thing. And then there's this riff that comes in in the chorus, which is like a counter melody to rock a bye baby. With a little bit of LFO to modulate the pitch at the end, uh, just a tiny bit so you get that kind of 
You hear it kind of wobbles. We made it a bit more interesting actually with this um, crystallizer plugin from Sound Toys, which is really nice. It's like a reverse delay. You get these like reverse echoes. Post chorus. This is what I think gives it like a bit of an ace of bass feel. It's a big debate whether or not to do this because it kind of felt like it was pushing it maybe like down like a cod reggae vibe, which we were a bit nervous about. But when we heard it in there, it just felt really right. That kind of offbeat. So we tracked um, Anne-Marie in um, Club Ralph, the main studio belongs to Mark Ralph, who's an amazing producer and mix engineer. It's Mark's vocal chain. It would have been a Neve preamp, it would have been a U87 mic into like LA2, like Teletronics compressor, just to keep it, keep the level. And then he likes to, he'll probably get annoyed with me for showing you this, but he uses Smack, this compressor, on everything, um, which destroys vocals if you want, but if you just apply it lightly, um, it's, it's really good. All right, so there's a Tom. It's just a sampled Tom put in Ableton and just in sampler in Ableton and just pitched down on an automation. and then you gate it. You might want to gate before the compression as well, actually. There we go, that's better. Oh yeah, shit, you've got to, you've got to put the reverb before the gate. I'm being an idiot. The seagulls, have you heard, did you notice the seagulls in Rockabye, in verse one? She works the night, by the water. So that's seagulls going into like, um, shimmer, just to give it this kind of oceanic kind of harbour feel. <laughs> She just wants a life for a baby. All on her own, no one will come. She's got to save him. Daily. So that's Grace Cello with the harmony coming in, and that's got like smack, a bit of our vintage. Uh, going into some H delay analog mode off and then a nice harmony. So it's quite, it's taller than it is wide. So that's a good sign. So we've got a few things on our next album that were supposed to be from the first that are kind of where we're re addressing now. <laughs> 